Oh yeah, as some of you may or may not be aware, uh, Maverick, CF Mav of FG Hammer Time, recently released a video supposedly busting Famous for using something he liked to call the Red Dot Theory, uh, which was essentially described as a radar hack that would put little red dots on your radar where other people were. Uh, this video that I'm making intends to disprove that, not necessarily its existence, but that Famous was using it in this match. And I'm going to do that by focusing on where the red, the supposed red dots are and where the player positions are in the individual games. Um, I will touch briefly at the beginning on color distortion and possible explanations for the red spots. Um, but that's not what this video is about. This video is specifically about showing that those red dots, no matter what the source, are completely irrelevant to whether or not Famous is cheating because they don't show the player positions at all. Um, in the description, I'll have linked um, Mav's original video that he uploaded with this whole entire thing. I will also be using clips from that in this, so if you want to make sure that I'm not distorting them anyway, you can go compare them to the original. I asked Mav for the original footage that he uploaded, which I got from him, uh, thankfully. However, I was getting Sony Vegas errors at the butt, so I used Huffy Lossless Codex to convert it to a format that I could work with in Sony Vegas. So it shouldn't have dropped the quality at all, uh, although I'm not going to speak 100% on that because that's not my area of expertise. So if you want to compare them, you can. If you want to just use Mav's original video for references instead of my little clips that I've also put in here, feel free to do that. I've also put the replays in the description, which I would hope that people would download and look at for themselves because you should not take my word on this. You should never take anybody's word on any crap like this. This is a fairly serious topic, so any discussion like this should be clarified. And if it's very easy to do, which it is because I have the replays, and I'll also put the stream link in because I use that as well. Um, you should do that. So, first of all, before we get into this, like I said before, I am going to touch briefly on the color distortion. Uh, I'm going to show a clip that Mav said, and which is actually false, um, but mainly I'm going to explain why it's not as relevant as, it, relevant as it could be. Okay, so look at the top right of the minimap. Just pay attention. Okay, there's no... Look, firstly, Famous has a bomb, right? Uh, the bomb is not lying around. So the only red icon that can ever show on a minimap, guaranteed in Crossfire, there's no question about this, is either a person with the bomb or the bomb itself if you're on BL side. First of all, um, what he said actually isn't 100% true. If you are on GR side and BL has planted the bomb at a site and you know which site it is planted at, there will be a big blinking red light. I believe this is just an oversight on his part. Um, but that is fact. If you are on GR, you can see a big blinking red light at the site where the bomb has been planted, and you know what's been planted there. Secondly, however, and a lot more relevant, is the fact that what we're looking at is not, in fact, a, recording, a direct recording of a Crossfire screen and the Crossfire game. We're looking at a camera separate from the computer, not only recording the computer monitor that is displaying Crossfire, but also recording the environment that that monitor is in. And that environment is in the light that it, that environment provides is going to affect the image we get from this screen. That's very important to take into consideration, especially when combined with a JPEG like low quality of the camera. Um, because even if you look at like the black segments around the image, depending on uh, what color and what calibration your monitor is, you may very well see color distortion there, even just staring at uh, the paused image. The distortion even becomes somewhat more apparent, not necessarily as a fact, but as a possibility. When you look at uh, common images like uh, needs more JPEG, for example, you can just Google that into Google Images. If you've seen JPEG compression, you can know what it can do to, to color on an image. Uh, and that that isn't unique to JPEG. Maybe this, the way in which it does it is specifically unique. But low quality, really affecting color distortion is not an uncommon thing. Uh, so purely dismissing it, as an impossibility with no proof to back that up is incredibly ridiculous in my eyes. You need to have something to say, yes, this is definitely not the case. Because if you don't, you have nothing solid to work your case off of. Anyways, with that aside, let's get into the meat of the video. I'm going to be doing this in a format where I just show Maverick's clip and then I show the relevant footage of the replays the entire round or m a large chunk so that you know it's the same round and you can see the two the two footages sync up so you, you are sure that this is actually what was happening in the game that Mav was referencing. Uh, and then I will rewind and I'll show you where the relevant differences were and why they're relevant and I'll explain that. Oh, right there. Okay, this is, this is where it gets interesting. 
One frame. I'm moving one frame. Look where he's aiming. He's aiming directly in that direction at Kuya, who just peeked. Why is there a red dot? Why does a red dot shine? Does a red dot ever shine? Does it shine in? Is there? Is part of the sky? Is did it like look? It's like if anything, there's a cloud there. Oh, there's a cloud. The typical cloud becomes red, like over the radar. Like are you kidding me? The radar is over everything. It's on top of the map. Maybe it's some kind of like laser beam that he has in his room. I don't know what the, what the fuck he's doing in his room, but. Well, according to the Red Dot Theory, it wouldn't be a laser beam. If it was actually going to support that argument that Mag makes in the video, it would have to be a player. A player would have to be standing over by Pickle, which, if you don't know, is a long line of green boxes outside of GR Sewer Entrance, right underneath the balcony. Um, so now we'll take a look at the actual match and where the player positions are. So I've paused the video right about where Mav uh, paused to show the frame, if not a bit before. And as you can see, uh, as what you saw before as well, that guy behind Tractor is the last guy alive. And the guy famous killed just before uh, was the second last guy alive. And if we're looking at Pickle, nobody's around Pickle. Nobody's even in the vicinity of Pickle. There are no dead bodies in the vicinity of Pickle, except for at in the very like inside of Sewer. Um, there's nothing at Pickle. There is literally no person near or at near around pickle to make a red dot appear for the red dot theory. Okay, here we go. You're about to see it. All right. So now look at look at a site. Did you just see that? Do you see those red dots right there? Do you? Like I mean, look into your screen, guys. You can clearly said see two little circles there. Two little circles. Like I mean, I've never ever had circles little circles in my fucking game like I've never had that like pfft, I don't know where they come from I don't know if you know Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer just like kind of sticks his nose out of the radar every once in a while um, but fucking man all right uh, okay so pretty much look a frame back frame forward frame back frame forward so they, they exist they come out and they last for how long one frame oh they last for like 10 frames, I don't know, I'm not counting. But they last long enough for Famous to be like, oh, that's not that, oh, whew, they're an a site two an a site. I'm not going to cross. You know, what if there was nobody in a site? Would he have crossed? Maybe, he probably would have. But okay, two red dots, those are the, one of the, this is one of the most clearest pictures I have of this. Or clearest frames I have of this. Okay, so he toggles, red dots come out. Okay, and obviously I'm not sure exactly um, how this cheat works. I don't know if he clicks the button, I don't know if it appears for him, if he, like, they're, they're threatening or something. I don't, no idea. But anyways, I know that the fact those are people because people play there. This this area in a site. This is behind the little green ammo crates. Both of them are right next to each other, and they're both watching middle and well, probably both watching middle. I don't know if they're watching alley. Maybe there's someone sewer. I can't tell right now. So a lot of this is blurry. Occasionally, I saw red spots that were just blurred out completely. And but I'm gonna show you some of them. And some of them are actually discernible um, to some extent. Uh, but you'll see. So check this out. Uh, I'm gonna go a couple of frames forward. Okay, so I'm gonna go right here. All right, this is where it gets interesting. So he he's shooting the guy in the middle, blah blah blah. He kills the guy in the middle, I think. Oh oh, there we go. I missed one. Okay. Okay, here we go. Sight's clear, right? A sight is completely clear. Now just check it out. It's still clear right now. I'm going one frame at a second. Just look at A site, look at A site, look at the yellow. You can see the yellow contrast with the red really blatantly. You see you see that appear something? Did you see that spot that appears on yellow? On that yellow? But just wait, just wait. It gets more convincing, you know, as you watch it. There's something look, there's a legit red mark right now. A red mark. Just look at that. There's a person right on site. And I think this is another one right there. But due to like the shitty quality of the camera, it sways way too much. He moves way too much. I don't know what the hell's going on, but it clearly blurs out. And it's actually hard to tell. But yeah, you can see those guys in sight. And they're just chilling there in A site. 
Well, first of all, what he said about the uh, little site indicator being right behind the ammo crates isn't necessarily true. Um, it kind of is, but kind of isn't. It's misleading. Basically, that there's a little, there's a very, um, on every single bomb site, there's a red blinking circle that expands from the inside out. That circle in Mexico is exactly, in a at least, exactly where the marker is. And it expands, the marker is slightly larger than the circle, but half of that marker is on the outside of the hut, half of it is on the inside of the hut, and um, in proximity to the middle at least, it's halfway in between uh, the two green boxes. So while half of the half of the marker is on the boxes, the edge of the very the very far edge of the of the marker that's closest to the tractor doesn't actually get very far past the edges of the green boxes that are close to the tractor. Uh, just to give you a better idea of that, and you'll see this in the actual footage that I provide of where the the little blinked red thing is. Um, yeah. So and that that is that has become relevant to where the piece of people are playing. Alright, so I've paused the video right about where Matt paused it, if anything, a couple of frames before. Um, and we're going to let it play out from here, but first I'm going to move the camera to the site and I'll show you where it is. So as you saw, there's two guys in the middle, and uh, two guys in a site, and one guy with sewer entrance. This is a standard setup for Mexico, by the way. Uh, the one, there's one guy tractor, normally watching alley, but rotating to watch middle if need be, and there's one guy watching middle from the try boxes. Now Mav says that there are two people, at least one, if not two dots visible inside the A marker. None of, none of those positions are inside the A marker. Tractor is close, but it doesn't actually come in. You have to get a lot closer to the green boxes to the point where, where you're almost in between them before you actually start intercepting with the, with the A marker on your map. And you're, feel free to go into game and test this. As well as the guy at try box, nowhere even close to A markers. And as you see, if you watch the footage, they never intercept with the marker. Again, Go into game and test this yourself with screenshots so you can see uh, where on the ground the proximity of the marker is because it's very hard to show in the replay. Um, but yeah, if you go into game and look at the proximity of the marker and then watch this and imagine where the proximity actually is on the ground, you'll see that none of the people ever enter that space of ground. Right, kill someone, blah blah blah. Da, 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 da. Oh, red dot appears again. Just, just take a look at this. Oh, you see, you see how how blatant that is. That is a toggle. That is just. Okay. Yes, it would be a toggle if there was anybody there to see, which, if you watch the footage I just put up, there isn't. This, this. Oh yeah, this was actually. He's right here, right? Look around, look at the minimap, focus on focus on everything. Just look for any sorts of red. You don't see anything, right? Neither do I, but check this out, check this out. Make sure I'm going one frame. Okay. I'm starting to see some red. I don't know if you can see it that well, but look, you start to see this is not the, the full proof, but this this is just part of it. I'm gonna build up to it. Okay, check this out. The screen's gonna go bright right now, and you're just gonna see it. Look at that. Red dot. Red dot. A connector, both of them. Here's the arch. Here's the fucking boxes, A side, everything. And here's the box, middle. <laughs> this is just ridiculous. Like, you can clearly see those red dots. Just 
Look at that. We're, there's one. I'll circle look, both of them. I'll just circle both of them. They're right there. They're right there. <laughs> and they're both just sitting there. And, they, well, they're moving, clearly. And he toggles off. Or he toggles... Yeah, he toggles off, I think. Also, the bomb blinks. It's kind of hard to tell sometimes when it's up there. It's way too blurry. But, yeah. Okay. So, he kills the guy in s the smoke, right? Um, I don't know if he saw him. He might. You could just look at the quad. I think there's a red dot. It's hard to say. Um, it's too blurry. I think that it really is, but it doesn't matter. So, he sprays, kills him, right? But this is not... This is the crazy thing. He looks right in the connector. Okay. Yeah. There's a guy in A-Site. Clearly, he kind of got a call. But look, look at the red dot that comes on his screen for this guy. Okay. Right here. Between this clip and this clip. Do you notice that red right? I'm pointing directly at it. Like, right there. Even a little circle for the... Like, like right there. Just right there. You see, right in this... Like, right there. I'm pointing at it. You see that? That comes out of nowhere? Right there? It just comes out of nowhere. The red. It gets even brighter. And where is it going? Where is that red? You could tell by the direction of, like, the radar. That as it's turning, he's making a left turn into, like, a... You know... And that, that you could see... Oh, you could see from... If you go backwards, it's actually easier. Um... The red dot comes out, comes out, and gets killed. I can go one frame in a second. That's easier for you to see. Okay, so here's the red dot coming up, coming up, coming up from a connector. Here, I'll prove it to you. A alley, doors, and a connector. That's a red dot right there. I'm on it. Coming up a connector, and famous like, oh, well, this seals the deal. Bam! Drives over that guy, just road kill. Well, I don't even know where to begin with this. This doesn't actually require any replay footage because it just requires me to point out that Maverick's sense of perception is off. If you watch from the beginning of the clip, you'll see the guy literally just died. And that red dot appearing, exactly where he died, is the C4 appearing on the minimap after it gets dropped. Um, that's the reason it doesn't toggle on and off like the supposed other red dots. It stays around to the end of the, to the, end of the round. So, then if we go to the next bit where Maverick is marking out uh, where a connector supposedly is and where uh, a alley is or I don't know why I said a alley but um, because that's not at all where a alley would be even in general relationship but anyway where Maverick is pointing out where a connector is and the arches are uh, he's pointing out the wrong area on the map see what Maverick thinks is the middle of the map isn't actually the middle of the map because of the way perspective works the angle is skewed so certain distances are going to look a lot farther or a lot shorter than anything else but if you look at the map properly, you'll actually see that throughout this entire point in time when Famous is peeking the guy in a connector, the red dot that Maverick sees is on the right-hand side of Famous, of Famous on the map. Now, what else is on the right-hand side of Famous on the map? The bomb. What's on the left-hand side of Famous on the map? Throughout the entire period of time until he gets to the middle where he dies, the guy from a connector. Alright, check this out, check this out. One frame at a time. These guys are across the sewer. Okay, the way you play um, GR, right, on um, uh, Mexico, sometimes you cross in front of the sewer. Uh, usually like four or three people, whatever. Uh, three people usually. Sometimes four. It depends if you want to push sewer or peek it. Um, and then there's also a strategy where you go through middle to A, you know, like, it depends. But most people go in front of sewer. And these guys, Carbon, they clearly went sewer to spot the cross. Now look at this. Now look at this. Now look at what Famous sees on his radar. You'll see it. You'll see it. Right, right as these guys. You see these guys in the sewer peeking it. They're peeking the cross. How many dots is that? Is that four? Is that five? I don't know how many freaking dots that is, but <laughs> where the hell does this red dot keep coming from? Like, like I must be insane, right? Clearly. So. Uh, once again, I've paused it at close to a frame where uh, Matt paused it in his video. And let's take a trip to, up to middle, shall we? And oh, what do we find at middle? Three people! So your four dots suddenly turned into a maximum of two. I guess speculated five, but I guess you were kind of adamant about the four. Um, I mean, I don't know, I don't know where we're going with this, but there aren't four people outside a sewer. There are two. And there are three people in middle with absolutely no dots on them. So, oh, oh, shit! Whoa, those some, those are some red ass dots, man. Woo! Check this out. Red. Where can you spot them? We should play a game. Who can spot them? A, B, back alley, and A side. Look at those. That there's no, like, there's no fucking doubt. Like that's a fucking cheat.
right there. Like, Jesus Christ. You see those right? That's you still see them, right? There, one right here, one right here. Maybe I'm missing some. You guys might be able to spot them. Maybe you guys can enhance the reds better than I can. I didn't even enhance them to be honest. I tried and I got a little bit, little more saturated, um, but it didn't really help. But yeah, so uh, whatever. He they disappear. Toggle off. Toggle off. See? Toggle off. Toggle, toggle. And here, okay. To be honest, I can see this a little bit. There's a red dot right in front of the doors. You can tell by the way something shifts in front of the doors. Right there between the doors is like that little dot. I don't, I don't know. It's so hard to see, man. <sighs> well, again, before we get into any replay footage, it's something that anybody with a basic understanding of spatial awareness could uh, realize is that Mav is basically saying that the dotted A site is moving to either disappearing entirely from existence or moving to A doors from inside of Hut, or at least certainly right by the entrance of Hut, um, before Famous can even peek him. And that means he's moving at about three times the speed that Famous is, uh, if Famous is walking. If Famous is running, then he's moving three times the normal speed of a Crossfire player. Um, that's not a reality, so just keep that in mind as well. So again, I've paused it um, one or two frames before, or if not, at the exact frame that uh, Mav has paused it at. And we're about to go into uh, the camera mode, and when we go into camera mode, you'll notice something that you probably might have very well noticed last time, when you, or the first time you viewed this. The last person left that Famous kills is the last person left. So if Mav says he sees two dots on the map, uh, I don't know what he's trying to get at. Is that other ghosts? Because at this point in the time, you shouldn't be seeing two dots if they have anything at all to do with player positioning, because there's one player. So, uh, if you watch this, also, tying to what I said before, Famous peeks out and the guy's already at a door. In fact, you can hear him reload at a door. That's why Famous peeks out and prefires him at a door. Not because he saw a red dot there. Okay, so it's, it's hard to see, and I'll just trace it a little quickly. Okay. Starts right here. So basically, um, starts across. Okay, I started. All right. So there's a red bomb, and it, it blinks red, as you can see. But there's a big blink, so it's like it muddles everything around it. Any other red spots. So if like famous, for example, if you're playing against famous, hide in the fucking bomb. I'm telling you. But anyways, so he's going down right, and right there, something separates from the bomb. I'm telling you, I can see it. I think I've been staring at this for like 13 hours. So maybe I'm just really adept at it. Um, but there's something separates from there. There comes a little dot, and if you actually see that clearly enough, you'll notice it. And that dot moves forward, and then it disappears right here. But clearly, it's because the shitty ass quality. Maybe it does move. Up. Oh yeah, yeah, it disappears right. It stayed there for a bit. It's right there. It's right there. And it goes down into like the fucking blurriness over here. I don't know why it's so blurry. Famous kills him. So you're sure about that, man? You're sure there was a guy near the bomb? That's why his marker was attached to the bomb marker, which then detached from the bar bomb marker and moved his way up underneath the stairs. Because that's what you're saying. So, first of all, I don't know if you might have noticed this at the beginning of the clip, but uh, Famous actually saw Terrorism, the guy at the bottom of the stairs, cross to that area uh, before he even left A-Control. He actually shot a couple bullets in his direction. Um, so, regardless, if you watch the clip that I just put up, even pretend that didn't happen. When Famous hit, like, I start, I pause the video and get out of Famous cam and go into third party cam the moment Famous hits that, uh, the little corner. And he does a little dance around there for a couple seconds, maybe 10, 15, and then peeks the guy. Now that's 
a very long time, longer than Mav's vid shows. And yet, throughout the entire time that my vid is showing this footage, that guy at lower stairs doesn't leave. He's been on lower stairs the entire time. And the one other person alive on a CT, he's been in A site the entire time. None of them have gotten even close to where the bomb is. Goes around and everyone's like, nice job, famous, you're so good. How'd you know, man? I know, man, I'm just the best, man. You know, that's typical bullshit. <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun, as you can tell. But anyways, there's a red dot there. Hey, you can see the red dot pop up. You see that one? I don't even know. Whatever. I have some I have some markers, I'll just go to those. Oh yeah, that's that's one of them. There's a red dot right there. Red dot right there. I'll go to one frame. Red dot right there as well. Red dot right here, clear as day. There's the bomb. Blink blink. Stops blinking it. It fades out. New blink. You're done. So that's that. Goes down. Uh hesitates. Uh, scared of the guy looking at him probably runs to the guy he realizes the guy ran there you know he's careless like you know can you imagine right now he's playing like he's actually looking everywhere you know his team thinks he's actually playing <laughs> meanwhile the kid's looking at his minimap the whole time just like straight up in the air like <laughs> talk about no pressure all right so he goes here and I this is hard to tell but maybe you guys should judge for yourselves I think I might see him up there in AC I'm not sure because this one is hard because it's blurry as shit but okay he crosses okay I'm gonna get up and look inside my monitor okay I think it's somewhere there. Maybe that's already there. I can't tell. No, just wait for it. He gets a bomb. All right, goes in. Oh, red dot, red dot. There is a red dot right there. Just look straight into your monitor. You just get so used to it. it just I outlined it perfectly at the edge. It's covered by the yellow up there a little bit. But yeah, he goes goes into sight. So that's he okay. Here, the red dot's right here. It comes into vision again, right here. Like right there, in the middle, right there. I'm pointing at it. And I it's disappears a little bit. Oh boy. Yeah, I guess it went down. The red dot eventually does go down, yeah. And it's hard to tell here, as you can see. You can probably see it, to be honest. I I think I I've seen it. I don't know. I'm just tired. So it's it's down. There comes down. Blah blah blah. And he kills the shit out of it. Fucking whack a mole. Kills him. And he wins the round. One v like seven. The usual shit. Um... There isn't much to say to complement this footage. Uh, if you even watch the comparison, you'll see blatantly how Mav is just insane and seeing things. And anybody who agrees with that is, or with him, is seeing things. Uh, Mav says there's a dot in sight when the guy's gone out of sight. He's already flanking a connector. Mav says there's a dot coming out of a connector when the guy's already down the ramp. Uh, there's Mav says there's a dot still on the ramp when the guy's already down the ramp and has shot at Famous. Like, I don't, there's nothing I can say at this point that will just make the footage easier to understand than you watching the footage. Alright, well that kind of concludes the end of part one. Um, I only was able to get the replays for both halves of Subbase and one half of Mexico from Famous. So unfortunately, in order to do an actual video analysis like this for the other ones, I have to actually use a stream. Which is good, it's, it works fine if you, if I can just write them down, which I have done, I have a rough draft. Um, but if I have to dig through three hours of footage, that's a pain in the ass. So I'm not going to do that at this point. If it becomes a necessity, I probably will. Uh, we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, I mean, don't take my word for any of this stuff. Go in game, use the replays, figure it out for yourself. Because if you do what you just did, 
with Maverick, if you just watch this video and go, oh yeah, this is totally right, I'm just going to assume that everything is correct. You're just doing the same thing over and over again, being a, a dipshit. Don't do that. Check for yourself. Be certain that this that what you're seeing is correct. Okay? Oh, and one last thing, I almost forgot. Um, I, I can say with fair certainty that my view on the situation is fairly unbiased. I, the only kind of investment I have is that Gandhi is a guy I enjoy playing with, uh, and if he gets, doesn't get to go, that would stink. Um, but other than that, like, that's, that's really the only tie I have to the situation. Famous, uh, my personal relationship with Famous is essentially non-existent. I've talked to him on Mumble like three times total. The only time I've had interaction with him is playing the game. So, I mean, there's no, there's no positive or negative towards him for me. I'm not going to jump to any conclusions from that regard. Um, if anything, the only really personal reaction the situation's drawn is is disappointment. Disappointment, not only in a widespread, but specifically to to the the players who have good standing in the community and don't even bother to, to check. They don't even like. You could have taken. 20, five minutes of your time, even reviewed one of these things in the stream, and been certain, been like, oh yeah, that's there's there's totally a flaw right there. But yeah, I mean, Mav is, I don't know, I'm I'm pretty disappointed in Mav. I I there was a time when I played with you, Mav, when you were still named Doom, and I was impressed by how much, how skeptical you were of people when they were of of cheating accusations. Like, any time someone on our team would start to accuse cheating, or any time someone on the forums at all, uh, you'd, you'd be the one person who would consistently n not jump to the conclusion. They'd, you'd constantly go, okay, well, we don't know this, give them the benefit of the doubt, la di da di da And now that you've made that monstrosity, that is a poor excuse for a bus video, as I've ever seen. I, it's just disappointing, man. But, uh... I don't know. Maybe I'll make part two. Maybe I won't. I don't really think it's necessary. I think that it's pretty much been proven to be a ridiculous theory at this point. But we'll see what happens. We'll see if this is enough or not. I mean, Famous' is, Famous is standing in the communities right now is already messed up. I don't know if it's beyond repair, but it's kind of ridiculous. There's a lot of views on that video. And, yeah, whatever. I'll uh, see you guys later, maybe, if I make part two.